It's Cyber Monday. Have you bought anything yet? Uh, no, but I'm going to. Okay, we'll be on it after the show. <laughs> and coming off the biggest shopping weekend of the year, Adobe Analytics estimates that today is slated to become the largest digital sales day in U.S. history, with spending reaching between $10.8 billion and $12.7 billion. That's right, offering a big sign of hope for small business owners who are beginning to adapt and form new companies during a year of economic hardships. ABC Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis has more. Today, I want to give you five tips to date while distancing. Dating coach and matchmaker Tanisha Wood, a combat veteran who spent nine years serving in the Army, built her career helping her clients find true love. You have to know yourself and what you want, mm -hmm. right? But when COVID hit, like so many others, she saw an opportunity. After everything that had been happening, including the pandemic, the death of George Floyd, I thought, okay, what can I do? And I wanted to create and build strong back families. So I decided to start the Broom List, which is the first and only um, matchmaking agency dedicated to bringing successful black professionals together. Her goal, to create a company that would serve her customers during the pandemic and beyond it. And she's not alone. Americans are launching new businesses at the fastest rate in more than a decade, with business applications already up over 26% compared to this time last year. Even those already running businesses or nonprofits have had to reimagine how it's done. I've done like everything from cooking to oh, picking up yeah. trash. Christina Lowenstein, co-founder of Chicago nonprofit The Honeycomb Project, which provides volunteer opportunities for children and their parents, turning the obstacles into opportunity. By making more of her offerings digital, actually enabled us to reach so many more families. Think about your core mission and how you can translate that into a virtual environment. Uh, so for us, you know, that was volunteering in person and, you know, really making opportunities that um, people could do from home, right? That we're still in that same um, spirit. But where to even begin? Tanisha says she started by treating her skills as currency. I would coach friends for free uh, in order to get them to help with my website and um, <laughs> things like that. Next, she focused on her network. Really make sure that you're making it personal and that you're connecting with the audience that you're trying to sell to. She made a commitment to stay disciplined. I try to do the same things every day at the same time. I think it's really keeping a schedule that, that's really helped me out. Christina says no matter where you are in your startup journey, be ready to adjust. Things continue to change with COVID-19, and so we've tried to be responsive and you know create programs that really are of the moment. And so I think being open and flexible is so important during this time. And Rebecca joins us now. Those were definitely some inspirational stories there, Rebecca. But, you know, it's got to be a scary thing starting a business in the middle of a pandemic. Why do you believe they were able to do that successfully? Well, and, and it is scary, Amy. No matter what time of year, what time it is, it's a hard, hard thing to start a business. Many are starting these entrepreneurial activities today because of the necessity with layoffs and furloughs, a number of moms who are now doing childcare from home and can't manage having a professional job that they have to go to every day. So there's the necessity of it. But keep in mind that some of the biggest companies of our time were started in moments of distress like this. General Motors started in an economic downturn. Burger King, uh, Trader Joe's, Airbnb, Uber, the list goes on and on. And oftentimes what happens in times of economic distress, Amy, is that things get less expensive. So you might be able to hire some temporary help you heard from Tanisha. She was able to trade her services for help from people to build out her website. So if you're an entrepreneurial person, now could be a great time to get started. And Rebecca, we saw Small Business Saturday, people trying to help out small businesses, neighborhood shops, if you will. But what can we do if we want to continue to support our communities and continue to support those small businesses through the season? Well, and TJ, it's so important. I know you're committed to this. Amy, Dr. Jen, all of us, we want to support small businesses. They are really some of the hardest hit right now in the pandemic. But American Express did an entire shop small impact survey, and they found that 78% of small businesses say some positive feedback on social media can be the difference between no business and some really great business. So comment online. Make it a post on social media when you have a good experience. American Express 
Trust has on their website an entire list of small businesses if you want to find out who's in your community. And finally, TJ, if you are buying something from a small business and you need to return it, ask for a store credit instead. That way you're not taking money out of their pocket that they already think they got. And you can also buy gift cards, for example, if you'd like to shop small, but you're not going to restaurants right now, consider buying a gift card right now. That will help them through the winter months that will be the hardest because of the pandemic. That is, th those are incredible tips, uh, Rebecca. And also just want to say incredible job doing all of that in the middle of a downpour here in New York City. So thank you. <laughs> Get inside now, stay dry. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.